All right, we got a monkey wrench request. I love this song from Team 512. Team 512 actually happens to be my friend Scott. 14 ish years ago in California, I was in a band uh, called Breaking Code with Scott. He was the bassist. Well, I moved recently to Paoli, Pennsylvania, and guess who lives not 15 minutes from me? It's Scott! So we're, we are uh, reworking our songs and we're gonna record them. It's gonna be a really good time. Of course, I'll show you all about it. But Scott also does on his YouTube channel, it's about restoring his Corvette. So uh, Scott, if you want to leave a link to a video you'd like to point people towards, that'd be awesome. Great. Okay. Monkey wrench. Drop D. Right? Your E string goes to low D. So now you can play a D chord and you're allowed to strum all the strings, which is the funnest thing about playing guitar, but you don't get to do it in this uh, song, unfortunately. The rhythm. Four. The intro is is really simple. It's a B power chord on A string second fret. And then you switch to a drop D power chord in the fourth fret. Drop D power chords, because we used to have to go like this, but now this string is two frets lower than it uh, usually is. They're all in the same fret. So fourth fret, two, and then open two, open two, open. right? But the cool part of the intro is this. B7. Now I'm gonna strum the string my fingers on and I'm also gonna strum whatever string is below whatever string I have my finger on. So it's either gonna be the B string or the G string. Start on B7 and then G9. Now when you go to G9 you can open up the B string. That works or I kind of like to leave my pointer finger there. Those notes sound okay together. Um, yeah, do do it either way. I don't I don't know which one's right, but and then G8. It's just convenient. I don't know. I'm opening up the B string now. G6. Back up to G9. 8, 6, 4. Now Dave makes this brave leap at song speed. You're going to find this is really hard to accomplish to B2. So now we've got B and open E, and this is very clearly what it is. Open B, G1, back to open B, B2, open 2, bend and then pull off to open. So, the Dave way. I'm going to show you a way that's almost just as good and a little bit easier. Okay, here we go. B7, G9, 8, 6, 9, 8, 6, 4, B2, open, G1, B open, 2, You could go, starts the same. But rather than do that crazy leap of faith here, just go to G4. I mean 6, G6, 4, and then D6. Oops, but you gotta leave your pointer finger on there or else you wanna make everyone leave the, the stadium. Here we go. G4, 6, 4, D6, G4, and then do your 6, 6, 6, 4, and your bend is on G6. So my way. Awesome. That's the intro. All right, so there's a four beat pause, and then you do the same thing as the intro on just a slightly different rhythm for the verse. You hit it hard, right? The B power chord. And then you chug away at it, so. Two, three, four. And the thing about that is, is that it comes in on beat two. So if you're counting it out, Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two. But the thing is, uh, it's a four, this is a really unimportant detail, but it's a four uh, beat rest there, and then the guitar comes in on what would be one, which it can't be because it's two. So what that means technically is it's a three beat rest, followed by a one beat rest, 
which is the beginning of there there's a measure of three in which nothing happens, so it doesn't matter. But this thing <coughs> happens on two, so that's the way you gotta think about it. Yeah, one, two, three, four, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Rest on the first beat and then hit it on the second beat. Fun times. Then we have the pre-chorus, which is just our two open thing. Open, two, open, two, open. With the, with the one beat rest, right? So one, two, one, two. And you can strum all those, or you can make them pluck, pluck, pull off, pluck, pull off, whichever way you want to get it done is just fine. And then we're into the chorus, which is B again. And then we're going to do a drop D power chord on the sixth fret. Four, two, four, two, four, C power chord on the third fret of the A string, back to the beginning of the chorus. So, Sometimes, uh, especially on the live versions, um, Dave likes to do this thing. That's my two becomes one move. It sounds very surf rocky. Uh, grab G9 and B and E7, and you're just going to kind of sloppily strum away while you bend the G string, but not the B or the E strings. And the, way, the reason it sounds so cool is because that G note is becoming... The, the same as the B, it's not a G note, the note on the G string is becoming the same note as the note on the B string. So if you get all those. Yep. Just a little more detailed on that point. Let your pointer finger be muting the G string unless your ring finger's on it and you want to take your ring finger off. Makes it a little cleaner. As I listen, I'm hearing the intro again, and it sounds like for the first few notes, um, it's E string 7th fret as well. So you'd have B and E7 for this, for that long. And then open it up and make it messy there for that G string 6th fret. Yeah, everything else remains the same. Bridge. I find this bridge very difficult to remember. Okay, drop D power chord on 6. And then E power chord on A7. Followed by drop D power chord on 9. And then 5. So, 6, E, 9, 5. And then 4, 2. 4, 2. section of the bridge, which also happens to be a B chord, and it's the B section, which is the exact same as the intro. <laughs> Except when I watched the Letterman version anyways, it looked like Dave, I mean, maybe he was focusing on his shouting there, so he didn't want to worry about changing chords. The band is clearly going that thing, but Dave was hanging on a B octave chord. A string 2nd fret, G string 4th fret, mute everything else. So you only just hear the A string and the G string. And that works because the song's in B, so you can hear B notes left, right, and everywhere else, and it's totally cool. So yeah, either just wail away on B octave, B octave, or do the intro. Can't stop before 8, there we go. That's it.
And then everything else is exactly the same as everything else we've 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 ever done. <laughs> no, uh, the end. You get to go. And that's it. So yeah, Scott. Thanks for the request, man. I'll see you soon. I'm sure. Uh, everybody else, go go say hi to Scott on YouTube and tell him I sent you. So, awesome song. Thanks for the request. Thank you so much for being here, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye. <laughs>